thanks for tuning in today. My name is Katie and I'm an Aquarius here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. Today I'll be telling you guys all about our dwarf seahorses. They're right behind me. So what you guys are looking at here are our dwarf seahorses. They, everything about these guys are small. They're perfect for spring discovery days because when on exhibit, we have over a dozen, but you really have to look for them. So it's kind of fun to see how many you can see because they are so small and they blend in so well, but I promise you, you will find them and they are very cute. So all of these guys back here are about an inch um, in length. That's fully grown for them. They can grow up to an inch and a half or two inches, but it is rare. You know, if you look at your pinky nail, that's about as big as they're gonna be. So, um, to go along with that small size, everything they eat is small. So, you might notice in this video that there are little orange dots swimming around. That's their food. Um, it looks like not much, but these are really small shrimp, and that is gonna be their favorite food item. It's what they would eat in the wild. It's what they eat in here. So we do our best to uh, simulate that in our environment here. Also to go along with that small is their lifespan. So these guys usually only live about a year. Um, it's not very long compared to other fish. But with how small they are, it only takes them three to four months to get to full size. And when they do get full size, they are able to start reproducing. So they can do that from a fairly young age in comparison to other fish and definitely with mammals. The males are the ones that give birth, which is unique to seahorses along with their relatives of sea dragons and pipefish, which is pretty neat. To tell them apart, you can see the seahorse that's in focus on your left. He's a little more orange. You might notice that the bottom half of his abdomen is a little bit more elastic. It's not the same texture as the rest of his body, and that's gonna make you know that he's a male. So that's the pouch that the babies are going to uh, grow and then be born out of, and the females don't have it. They have that same bony structure all along their abdomen, so that one that you see on your right right now is going to be a female. We had our dwarf seahorses here for a couple months and all of a sudden we got reports that we had babies on exhibit. Once they started, they didn't stop. We have had over 10 different clutches born here um, for a total of about 60 babies. Each clutch can range in number from five to 20. So we have had pretty much those same numbers. We've had really small ones, really big ones, but everything you see on camera right now was born here at the aquarium. 